IBM WebSphere Application Server Traditional is available on Azure VMs in the Azure Marketplace and in the Azure Portal. Let's take a quick tour by clicking Create from the Azure Portal. We will define a resource group into which we will deploy the resources. We will declare a region for the resources to run. The offer is available in all the Azure regions around the world. We will declare our IBM ID and password. This is necessary because the offer is bring your own license. You must have an entitled IBM ID that allows you to run IBM WebSphere Server Traditional in order to use the offer. Here, we can define the cluster configuration whether it's a dynamic cluster and the number of VMs that are in the cluster. Let's accept the defaults. Here we define the credentials for the offer. First, we'll provide the password for the VM administrator. This same set of credentials will be used for all of the VMs in the cluster. Note that you can also choose to use an SSH public key for this. Note that the password validation requirements are clearly stated in the user interface. We also must define the WebSphere Administrator user ID and password. This allows us to immediately log into the Deployment Manager when the offer has completed deployment. Let's validate the deployment and then select Create. This is the list of the resources that will be created when the deployment is complete. All of them will be in the resource group that we declared. Now that the deployment is complete, we can go to the resource group. In the detail page for the Deployment Manager VM, let's get the IP address so we can log into the Deployment Manager console. We will log in using the credentials provided and we will demonstrate that a cluster has been formed. You are now ready to start using WebSphere Virtual Machines on Azure.